the cop runs over, throw, puts me in handcuffs and throws me to the ground. He puts his knee on my back and he puts the gun on my head. I'm Kermi Mori for Bloomberg Quick Take. I'm in Tokyo here with Arthel Aison, the CEO and art director of DR Studio, Japan's first black owned anime studio. So Arthel, you're an American. You grew up in Jersey. Yeah, I grew up in Jersey. Yes. What got you started for the love of anime? So I guess I really am just like an artist at heart. I love the, the different styles, both realism and everything, the use of like shadow and light, uh, color. Um, I think that the artists in Japan really explore all the different aspects of, of art in general. And, um, and you really see it in their art. It's so detailed and so uh, well thought out, so crafted. Arthel faced new challenges when he moved to Japan 15 years ago, but he says fearing the police was not one of them. When, when I'm approached with police here, like that fear never runs to my mind. Like I never ever think that they're gonna like shoot me. That's one of the driving motiv motivations for why I joined the march here, to show support for what's going on in America. He recalls his own experience when he was a college student in San Francisco waiting for a bus. A police car drove past us. He's like, oh, have you guys seen like a black guy with a black jacket uh, with a knife? And so, you know, no, we didn't see it. Sorry, officers can't help you. Um, but then the person next to me is just like, oh, oh, unless you have a, a knife. Like, I think he was just joking. But when he said that, the officer instantly drew his gun. Like, when I get my hands to about here, then, uh, you know, they see that my hands are empty. And then the, the cops, like, the cop runs over, throw, puts me in handcuffs and throws me to the ground. Like, my head just, like, bangs against the, the concrete. And I, like, have my head down. He puts his knee on my back and he puts the gun on my head. Japan isn't free of racism, but it's nothing compared to what he faced back at home. Why can't I own an anime studio in America, like in my own home country, my home city? Like, why is it that I have to be afraid of police who are people that we hire to protect us? Arthel has already found success in Japan. His studio has worked on popular shows including One Piece, Attack on Titan, and Netflix original anime film Sound and Fury.